G'day, it's Glenn Hayworth here. And it's Ryan Beveridge. And here we are, mate. We're talking Gretsch. Yeah. Yeah, we've got our favourite Gretsches in our hands at the moment. Up here in the studio space in the Shell Harbour store. Yeah. And if you're listening on the podcast, we're making a video of this at the same time, which mm. is on our website, haywithguitars.com.au. You can see the whole video there. Yeah. Gretsch are some of our favourite guitars here in the shop. Oh, man. Gretsch are just cool guitars, aren't they? And every time they bring out a new batch, the colours are just stunning. I don't know what, who's designing these colours, <laughs> but they need a pay rise. Yeah. Because yeah. they're doing such a good job. They are, they're making some stunning colours. Um, they've got a lot of nice guitars coming out 2020. Um, and we just we just went through the store and we just picked some of our favourite ones to do in this video, mm. um, just to show you guys a little bit about our favourite Gretches. Yeah, and let us know if uh, we're on the money or if you think we missed one. Yeah, there's something we missed. All right, let's start with the G fifty six twenty two T in the orange stain. Yeah. My favourite. It's a classic Gretsch colour, the orange stain. Yeah, Brian Setzer really sort of uh, played the, the orange sort of yeah. guitar, didn't he? Chet Hadkins and all that. The yeah. dice knobs and uh, it's a popular sort of Gretsch colour. Yeah. It's cool how that the neck is the same colour as well. Flip it over and show the neck right there. Yes, love it Bevo. Full colour um, on the neck as well. Yeah, so we've got the Bigsby, we've got the uh, Blacktop Filtertron, or Broadtron, yeah, I should Broadtron say. Broadtron pickups. Pickups? Yeah. Yep. Blacktop Broadtron, oh, just check that out. Yeah. Uh, black dot broad joints. Yep. We've got the thumbnail inlays too, which is unique to this one. There's a few others like it, but yeah, you get different inlays for the different guitars. So. Yeah. Yeah. Bigsby Tram is a big, uh, big part of the Gretsch line and as well. And that's iconic for the Gretsch stuff too. Yeah. It is. Really nice, cool looking tram, but also gives you that little bit of tremolo too. Yeah. Cool. All right. To the so next one. What's next? We're looking at, oh, this one here. Now, this one is a new. It's a new addition to the Hayworth range, basically. Mm. It's only really just come out. It's the Malcolm Young signature Gretsch. This is the G6131MY. Yeah. From Malcolm Young. So a bit of history on this is that Malcolm Young had one of these. It was red. Yeah. I believe it had the two pickups, and then he routed for a third, and then took them all out completely. There's pictures of him playing that that same colour, the the natural finish. Well, he took the finish off. Ah, oh, yeah. right. There you go. So, so he, he's seen that finish back himself. Yeah. Took off all the knobs, all the switches, and everything like that because he just yep. wanted one pickup. One volume. Yeah. That's it. It's crazy when you see this guitar. <laughs> it's just got two massive uh, routed pickup cavities yep. that just don't have pickups in them. But that's all he needed. Yeah. To iconic ACDC riffs. Yeah. One pickup, it's turn cool, it up loud. Yeah. It's got the Malcolm Young signature on the truss rod cover yeah. there too. And this is, is actually it? a Japanese made, made guitar. Made in Japan, well. I was going to say as well. Yeah. So. There's a really nice feature that, I don't know if you can see on the video, but it's kind of like a brushed yeah. effect yeah. On, the, on the paint here. Because he sort of did a, did a new paint job on it. Possibly, possibly. Yeah. Might just be the way they do it. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's a really cool looking guitar. Um, something for the ACDC fans. The Malcolm Young Gretsch. Big fan. Made in Japan. All right, what's next in our favorite Gretsch models here? The, the G5422TG. Here it is. Oh, yeah. We've actually got uh, two of these models. This is the, the white one here. Yeah, so this and is kind of your white Falcon vibe without being a very expensive white Falcon. Mm. Double cut. The G's for the gold hardware instead of the chrome that we saw before. Yeah. Uh, Called it Snowcrest White as a finish on this one too. Yeah. And it's very clearly inspired by the White Falcon, you know, yeah. the classic. Black uh, top Filtertron pickups in this one. Yep. Yep. Master and, volume. And the other one we've got, we've got here too is this one in the Midnight Sapphire, I That's believe. right. Same guitar, right. different finish. Yeah. But you'll notice this one's got the thumbnail inlays. This one, I don't know what they call these ones, kind of yeah. not quite trapeze, but. Yeah, I, I know what it is, but I can't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, so different finishes there, man. As we said, the, the finishes they're doing on these Gretches are just amazing. Yeah. This, this Midnight Sapphire just looks really, really cool. Um, gold hardware, Bigsby Tram, uh, beautiful guitars too. Center hey. block as well. Yeah, well, I, th I actually think it's um, semi, full hollow. Semi yeah. center block? No, yeah, it's full hollow. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, these are full hollow. There you go. All right, so next uh, we have the G. 2622T. Ooh, in the Torino green. Look at that. So that army drab kind of green. Man, Clint green. Eastwood would love this one. <laughs> the uh, Grand Torino. I'm just seeing that. Do you see that movie? I haven't seen it, no. I can't yeah. have. It's pretty hectic, man. It's, it's pretty... kind of got the vibe of the other ones, just in a more affordable sort of yeah. container, I guess. You got the, the knobs aren't quite as fancy. Yeah. Um, the pickups aren't, you know, the, the top end ones. Yeah, because this is the Streamliner range, which yeah. the Streamliner is sort of just below the Electromatic range. 
Um, it's it's a more affordable price point, basically. A bit more, yeah. But geez, they're a popular range, aren't they? They are. Like yeah. they're super. It's super easy to get a nice Gretsch with a Bigsby trim. What's it got? Broad trim. Yeah, broad trim pickups um, in that really nice Torino green finish. This has got a center block down the middle as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just semi hollow. And uh, man, that's just a nice guitar. So super easy to get your hands on a Gretsch these days. That one's eight thirty nine. Crazy. It's like yeah, nice. All right, next one. Ooh, what's this one here? Ooh, the trapeze tail piece. No, not trapeze, the, um, the, the, v, v, the v stop, stop tail. tail. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. There's the G 26, 26 22. 22. There's another streamliner. Yeah, so if you don't like the Bigsby or if you find they, they put them out of tune a bit and you never use it, yeah. go for the V. Yeah. Go the <laughs> v, v. Pardon me. The red V. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what the, the red V is, that's the St. George Illawarra. It's our local rugby league team mm. here in the Illawarra. Red V, um, yeah. So another another nice Gretsch in the streamliner range. Yeah, mostly the same kind of appointments, just a different color and without the Bigsby. Broadtron, Broadtron pickups and a walnut stain on yeah. that one. So Classic. got your center block on in it as well. All right, next we have. Oh, this is a nice little guitar. These were super popular when they came. There's a in. pretty little thing right here. Oh yeah, more like your Les Paul size. Yeah. So it's not a big fat hollow body. This is a G5655 TG. Electromatic. Yep, gold hardware. Oh. And the what's the blue called? The Azure Metallic. Azure Metallic. Very, yeah. very attractive blue. Yeah, it's got the oh. center block down there as well. Um, and uh, in the Electromatic range, it sits just above the Streamliner range. Um, so you're paying for a few extra features there. Um, and uh, just a really, really nice May guitar. Mm. What did I say the pickups were? Uh, black top, black top broad trump pickups on this one too. Yeah. yeah, really nice gold hardware. Very nice. Pretty little thing, that one. Cool, all right. We got one now, left. One more left. This is another streamliner here in a small body. Speaking of the small body guitars. Yeah. This is the G2655 streamliner with the center block. It's a double cut, but they're sort of like very flat cutaways, yeah. aren't they? It's yep. unique. Yep, double <laughs> cut. Nice and symmetrical, this one. That's Do you right. like your symmetry? Yeah, or hmm, not my favorite, but you know. You like it with the one cutaway? I do. The, the yeah. traditional, sort yeah. of the, the classic look. Yeah, this has got the V, the V stop tail piece as well. Yep. Uh, broad trump pickups too. Yep. Yeah. Master volume as they all seem to do. Yes. It's very cool for it's kind of a unique feature for Gretsch as well. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about with this streamliner range. Uh, it makes it real, yeah, a lot easier to pick up a Gretsch. As we said, this uh, these ones are like just around the seven hundred dollar mark. Mm. It's you know crazy. Yeah. So, nice guitar. The barrel minus. stain is quite a nice sort of. It's yeah. a natural timber color too. Barrel stain. Yeah. It's cool, man. That's real American, I like it. <laughs> there you go, guys. So we've just gone through some of our favorite Gretches here at mm. the moment. If you wanna see the full video, if you're listening on the podcast, go to haywithguitars.com.au. Let us know if there's anything we missed. Yeah, there's, you need to do probably an honorable mention to you know the White Falcon. It's probably like the all time, let's be honest. We'd probably have it here if we had one mm, in the shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get them in, we get them in fairly regularly. Yeah. We only just sold one recently, actually. Yeah. Um, they're the Japanese made, the players' editions. They're just um, the, they're just the top end of Gretsch. Where you think Gretsch, you think White Falcon. Chris Cheney, Living End, plays one, man. He's, he's a good guitarist. Neil Young. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next time. Yep. Peace. Bye.